the monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. We have long awaited you, slayer of demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world, lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowman and the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed in the fringelands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, Deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the archstone and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, Man's memory of history is ever short, and before long he repeated his mistakes. 
the monumentals perished and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again roused the old one. What is it? Seekest thou the power of souls? I understand. Pray forgive me. Perhaps I thought wrongly of you. I am sorry. Seekest thou the power of souls? Of course. After all, thou requirest strength. Go ahead. Touch the demon inside me. Let these vagabond souls become thine own. Keeping a close watch on your belongings, don't you worry. If only something could be done to help her. Forge weapons for you for a fair price. I'm thankful that I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place.
You come back alive. I need your business. May the heavens gaze favorably upon you, Mombasa. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Urbain, but was of no use to him. And now I have run away and abandoned his augustness. O oh Lord, punish me, for I have not the strength to punish myself. O oh, august one, I hesitate to imagine your present state, deep within the darkness, where no light shall ever shine. Will you continue to pray, even in such misery? O oh, august one, I hesitate to imagine. Deep within. Will you continue to pray? Oh, you must be another disciple of God. I too am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. A miracle is a heavenly act, but spells are the acts of demons, the work of soul arts. They have similar effects, and yet one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. A miracle is a heaven. They have similar magicians, in the end. I see. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. Very well. I pray we meet again. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freight the Visionary from his cell in Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freight is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. Master Freight is a great man who has systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he is likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Master Frake as soon as possible. All the more reason that I... Be careful how you use it. Normally, it would not be granted to one such as yourself. I 
had to make an exception. For the sake of Sage Freak. Yonder, over here, it's me, Ostrava. Look at me, again, fenced in by enemies. Could you assist me one last time? Clear out the soldiers blocking this passage, if it please you. The Lord's Path, just over there, is now a feeding ground for dragons. Have your wits about you.
Thank you. That's twice now. Time to forge ahead. This is a token of my gratitude. Please accept it. single person left. Why on earth? How did this happen, noble father? again. Fancy that. Hope you find something that suits you. Hard times, eh? I'm sure you'll turn things around. <laughs> of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> Which is great for business, of course. But unless you're a scavenger like me, you'd better stay clear. <laughs> it is the end of Great Bot Hell. Thanks for that.
The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again roused the old one. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again roused the old one. serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I shall await thy return, slayer of demons. I am here for thee, and thee alone. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I was worried sick. If only something could be done to help her. You fight on our behalf. I can forge weapons for you for a fair price. And be thankful that I can do anything for you at all in this forsaken place. Do come back alive. I need your business. May the heavens gaze favorably upon you, Ambassador. Oh, fellow disciple, you seek the power of God? A miracle is a heavenly act, but spells are the acts of demons, the work of soul arts. They have similar effects. And yet, one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. I see. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. Very well. I pray we meet again. I hesitate to imagine your present state, deep within the darkness, where no light shall ever shine. Will you continue to pray, even in such misery? Are you begging for a magic lesson? Me? Of course I made my best effort to free Master Frake. But I had not the strength. It's as simple as that. Besides, if I myself were captured, who would stand here and recruit rescuers? Besides, if I myself were captured... I see. Suit yourself. Just ensure that you rescue Sage Frake as quickly as possible.
before the Blight, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. I have spent much time in my studies in the cultured countries of the south, yet no country holds my heart as does Boletaria. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. Here in Boletaria, we speak of the legend of the Two Swords and the Solitary Hero. The Two Swords are Demonbrand and Soulbrand. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. The Solitary Hero is Old King Doran. King Doran is the Everlasting One, founder of Boletaria and protector of the Two Swords. <laughs> of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, sometimes legends are all we have. But in the dark state of our land... 